Yes, my people. So finally, lawyer Kayode, senior advocate, lawyer Kayode, he don't give us exactly the date where this case go to start, where the hearing go to start. So for those of you that they ask me, ask me, say when this matter they start, when the hearing they start, this man not explain everything. Wait, exactly the date when he go start, the date when how many days he go stay for a P court, how many days we at Bado get to take response, how many days the matter will take push forward to spring court if need be. Now when I take on a time, listen to this lawyer, he don't break everything. That's when I go be aware of everything from the starting date to the day where he go take stop. Everything done they programmed. So when I listen to this man, let me pass this message across so that all this way they, they ask this question, they will get an idea of what they need to know. Very good. Let me share the video. Now look at what perhaps some of us don't know and uh, what we should be expecting because you know the elections are over in terms of, I mean, I'm, I'm referring to the presidential election now and we're seeing a declaration of the winner, Bola Tinobu of the APC and Kashim Shatima, now the vice president elect. So, what do we expect from now, especially for those who are aggrieved about the process, the conduct of the election and the outcome? Um, uh, they've gone to court. Uh, several political parties are challenging on the outcome but i mean we're hearing stories of the constitution of the presidential election tribunal we're hoping that there will be an official release and statement on those who will make up the panel the tribunal panel uh, for for that presidential election petition uh, what days should they file if they file how long will this take when should we be able to get a judgment if there is a judgment can they go to a supreme court if they go to supreme court how many days are allowed when can we finally get a total and final determination at the court on this matter let's get some legal um uh, perspective on this i'm being joined by a very senior lawyer and advocate of nigeria Claudia Adeluola. thank you so much let us seek for joining us again and uh, indeed we are delighted that you can be able to join us to, to shed light on this so uh I, I tried to paint a picture thanks for having me thank you so much it's good to see you again uh, i tried to paint a picture and draw uh, i drew a timeline of uh the litigation uh, timeline time frame and um, if, if we can put it on the screen so our viewers can get a sense of what, what we mean and correct me if i'm wrong in my diagram um let us see uh, but this is what i interpreted the uh, uh the process to be so there is the instance of the day of election which i assume that is the day on which uh by law uh the petitioner time start to count is that right uh mr Delola? um so the days that they have before the day they file and of course uh, how many days the tribunal has to make his position and give his judgment um and before well, the, sorry, the sorry, so please go ahead and uh help us help us out with the explanation on this Let's let you know okay. that um the tribunal yes can you, can you hear me yeah i can hear you now please go ahead can you hear me yes i can hear you please go ahead right so as i was saying that the, the tribunal is made up of judges uh, made up of um judges of the high court or uh, caddies of the sharia court of appeal judges of the customary courts or um a chief magistrate and each state has the tribunal for the national assembly or the uh, state house of assembly and for the presidential election which i'm sure is what you're most concerned about the uh, jurisdiction to take that election petition for the presidential election 21 days is given to the petitioner from the date the election result is declared that is when the winner is um, announced so they have 21 days within which to file their petition that's correct and once they have filed the petition they must serve the petition on the respondent personally that could take a few days sometimes it may require the petitioner to file an application for substituted service if for example they are unable to uh, reach the um, respondents personally they could bring an application for substituted service that could take a few days and once the petition has been served on the respondent, but the, the president uh, the president elect, he's got also 21 days to respond. Once he has responded by filing his own reply, uh, which is by way of a defense, and he serves it on the petitioner, the petitioner then has five days within which to file a further reply if new facts have been raised by the respondent in his reply. Once that has been done, it then becomes the responsibility of the petitioner to file the TF form seeking the order of the, of the election tribunal for pre-hearing uh, sessions. Of course, if it fails to do that, 
then the respondent is allowed to do that uh, just to quicken the pace. Once that has been done, the tribunal then sits at a pre-session hearing, pre-hearing session rather, where they take different issues. How long is this tri um, each, each um, a witness going to take? The documents that need no um, argument about. They also agree on the order in which witnesses will be taken and various things such as you know that to ensure that there is a smooth sale of the hearing of the petition. Don't forget, the tribunal, or the, uh, the Court of Appeal, as it is in this case, has 180 days within which to deliver its judgment. Once the uh, pre-hearing session has been taken, then the parties are ready to go on to trial. But don't forget also that once the petition is concluded, evidence taken, documents um, tendered, then the tribunal gives judgment. If the tribunal then gives judgment and one party or the other is unhappy, he, or, um, he can then proceed to the Supreme Court as, in, as it is in this case, the case of the presidential election. And curiously, the Supreme Court has only 60 days within which to deliver its judgment from the date the decision is given at the lower courts. And so that's, that's, those are the timelines. Fantastic. Sure. It, it does look like, uh, let us say, I'm, I'm very right with... Uh, the, the picture that we painted that which basically helped in when you are describing the journey from the day of the declaration of the of the winner of the election to the day of filing 180 days to determine the judgment by the tribunal they have a 14 days appeal window and uh, the supreme court if there is uh, an appeal to the supreme court because now we understand a lot of people perhaps may not know that the presidential election petition emanates or begins at the appeal court so that is the for a court of first instance in this tribunal isn't it am i right that's correct all right so the supreme court has correct. 60 days if the court of appeal has the yes yeah go ahead sir yes the the, the, um, the, the court of appeal has the original jurisdiction to take the presidential election and petitions yeah so uh when and i must add okay. also in the seats and i must i must also add if you, if you like, you know, just one minute yeah. if there are um if there's more than one petition, if there's more than one petition regarding the outcome of the same election, such as the one we have at the election, and we have a petition from um, the first runner up, and we have another petition from the second runner up, those two petitions can be taken and can be consolidated and taken together by the um, Court of Appeal. So there's so much more to talk about. So if anyone is aggrieved from the position of the pe election petition, presidential election petition tribunal, they can go to the Supreme Court. 60 days is when the Supreme Court has to uh, to determine and come out with its position and uh, judgment on that case. So what should we be expecting as citizens of Nigeria? The Nigerian Bar Association has thought that the uh, Court of Appeal, uh, the Presidential Election Petition Tribunal, should televise or allow, allow for the live uh, telecast of the process and the proceedings in the court. Would that be allowed? Uh, if that is that happens, how much of uh, transparency can we see in the process? Let's get back to the senior lawyer to give us some more insight into this. So, uh, before we went on that break, I was asking you, 60 days is what the Supreme Court has, the window for which to determine. Um, so, in all of this, it looks to me that we have uh, nothing less than um, about um, 230 oh, yeah. days. Is that right? If you look at the, if the calculation yes, we have of all of these days. Let's put it. Yeah. Yes. Let's let's put it this way. Um, we have 180 days for the uh, um, court of first instance. Then we have 60 days for the court of appeal. That puts us 240 days. That's in total about eight months, actually. So let's let's put it in perspective. We're talking about eight months within which to um, have the the uh, petition taken and the appeal also concluded. So, uh, if I look at my calendar, and uh, from what you just said, uh, the election uh, was determined um, in February, that's about 27th of February or thereabout. So, um, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, and October. So, sometimes around end of October, early November, 
we should be having a total uh, a ton of finality on the process is that right that's correct so in this sense that's correct for, for those for the, for what we're seeing so far now how has the process been uh, up until now i'd like to get your view on what has gone wrong is, is there any mistake in the process is there anything that i've been missing so far or has the process is gone smooth based on what the law requires well to the best of my knowledge the petitions have been served on the respondents and um, so um the president elect has been served anik has also been served and so what we expect now is for the respondents to serve their reply to the petition within 21 days if they're able to do that within 21 days from the date they were served, not from the days the petitions were, were fired. 21 days from where, when they were served, I don't, I don't know when they were served, but 21 days from when they were served, they expected to file their own reply. And once they have filed their reply, if the petitioners, that is uh, Mr. Peter Obi or Elijah Chiku, um, has any reason to file a further reply, they have five days within which to do that. And that is after that, then the pre session. Uh, uh, commences the pre-hearing sessions will then commence but going to what you asked regarding live coverage of the hearing that will be quite interesting but i think would require the um the well sorry, how, how do i put it the um direction of the president of the court of appeal to determine whether that should be done or not ordinarily um all that the court all that the rules uh, is that the hearing should be done in, in public and public should be where people can have access but in this situation we're talking about for the benefit of everyone who wants to witness it I think a recording may be made and then played on your stations later on in the evening that's, that's what I think may, may happen if we actually want that to go on so uh, I sense what the constitution is a constitutional provision, uh, isn't it? Uh, that the court, I mean, the, the, the provision that uh, uh, court's proceedings are supposed to be public, but uh, there, were, there are no um, yes, distinct, distinct uh, the position of the law on whether a proceeding can be televised, because that's uh, that's going to be in the remit of the court, isn't it? Court is now going to determine whether well, it's to allow. But what we have seen in the past, uh, Lenel Sik, is that. Court do, as soon as the judges walk into chamber, I mean, uh, walk into the courtroom, uh, uh, television cameras are not allowed. You can take pictures before and after, but as soon as the judges walk into the courtroom, you then are not allowed. But what if we uh, remember what happened in the Oputa panel? That was televised. It was allowed. Television cameras picked whatever uh, the Justice Oputa led panel who was uh, the proceedings at the time. But in this sense, what does the rule of the Court of Appeal say? In this regard, that's right. That's right. I, I well, the, 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 the rules just require that hearings should be done um, in, in, in open court and in, well, accessible to the public. But then again, as I said, the president of the court of appeal can give process during in which um, you know these procedures can be televised. I believe because if you recall, during the COVID period, we had situations where hearing was done in some courts via Zoom. And so, if that was allowed, it is not unlikely that this can also be accommodated in the hearing of the uh, of the, of the um, election petitions. That's what that's my that's my view. Hmm. So, what, what does it enter then? Uh, because the identity it does look like because in other plans, take for example, uh, we've seen proceedings uh, in like manner in Kenya. Uh, we saw the proceedings on television, and we saw a similar scenario playing out in South Africa. Uh, why is it that televising a uh, uh, court process or proceeding uh, is not a common place? Well, uh, Shira, let me put it this way. Things just have to be tested to determine whether they are allowed or not. The rules of court do not specifically say that or court proceedings should be held in, you know, in open court or televised. But then again, practice directions can allow for some of these things to be accommodated it's not unlikely that we, we, we will have a situation where it will become a standing rule or part of our um, rules of court allowing proceedings to be televised for example um, people incarcerated or in a custody should be able to give their testimony from the from the prison if it becomes uh it becomes necessary or 
otherwise you could also find situations where witnesses are unable to come to court and their testimony becomes very crucial to the determination of the um of the of the matter if, if an election election petition is not one that involves children who are usually uh, shielded from public view it's not one that requires that um there should be some secrecy about it so really and truly in the modernity that we are facing and technological age that we are also facing i do not in my candid opinion see anything wrong with the practice, practice direction saying that the election petition uh, the election uh, hearing should be done on, on television or televised in such a way that those who are unable to attend court can then um watch later on because don't forget the 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 uh, lawyers who are going to be appearing themselves are quite well, numerous so that by the time they all take their seats members of the public and journalists may have only a few seats to to occupy so it might just be nice to see a situation where proper direction is given and things are done lawfully not arbitrarily and without proper backing of the law i beg i don't get much to talk i mean i help us tell abado may you come back from france come reply to this petition make no waste of our time now 21 days he gets Inside the 21 days, that 21 days on the go. 21 days to file. We don't file within 21 days. Now, 21 days for him to respond. I know, sir, about the way I know. About the way I know, no, go respond until that last day. So that he could just use the bike time. The about the way I know, we never respond until that last day. They watch. On the 21st day, he don't carry this in response, go to submit. That man gets sense, eh? You can't go submit and so you just use and they buy time. Agbado owner go Agbado the Agbado go swear in on 29. This case go take 180 days for ordinary tribunal. 180 days. Agbado go swear in. So Agbado go be president. <laughs> or more. Not, no nightmare like say you wake up before, today. You like say you don't wake up in the morning. Agbado go be president. No nightmare read that one. You go to see Agbado for Asu Rock. <laughs> or more. Eh? No wonder that they talk say. It's, un <laughs> it's unconstitutional to swear Agbado in. Eh? So, 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 a day go come, Agbado go be president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Agbado. Agbado go be president. <laughs> in the local. <laughs> hey. Oh, Nigeria is going to try. Oh. Eh? Una they try. Hey, thank God I'm not from Nigeria. Oh. <laughs> The federal, the federal government of uh, of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, the Abado, um, Abado is here by. Ebe kini wa emilo kon, eh? Go be president, homo. That's what that the fear go happen, no? Emilo kon go be president on 29th of May. Hmm. You know, fire again, no? Man, I know they say if <laughs> we don't do pray, pray, don't do pray, don't nearly they finish. Before you do it now, don't start in prayer in May. Agbado, Agbado, we can't come back from France. Can't carry that, Agbada. Eh? Homo. <laughs> My hand is here. <laughs>